back now on Try Today, and from time to time we like to check in with the good folks at PART about uh, various things that are going on, and uh, today we're very honored to have one of our good buddies back here on the show, Laurie, if we can see our special guest. Uh, Phil Wiley, of course, is Safety Programs Manager for the Piedmont Authority for Regional Transportation, but we refer to it as PART affectionately. Phil, welcome back to the show. Thanks, sir. Good to be here again. Um, you emailed me something a few days ago and said, Jim, let's talk about safety, and at first I didn't really know what angle you were taking, but let me just, uh, let me just throw some things out of you. You were talking about something called the Regional Safety Program. What is that? When was it established? Why was it established? Well, uh, it was established in early 2009, uh, and it was set up to try to heighten awareness of accidents, injuries, and fatalities in the PART region. Uh, in this region, if you look at a five-year period from 2003 through 2007, we averaged 37, over 37,000 crashes a year. Oh my Almost 21,000 injuries and 238 fatalities. Now that's per year. That basically is a crash every 15 minutes, an injury every 25 minutes, and a fatality a day, every day and a half. Just too many cars on the road. Well, I mean, isn't that sort of the bottom line too? I mean, I'm not trying to do an advertisement for Phil or put words in his mouth, but I mean, that's where we're getting to. I mean, if you want to save time and gas and money and whatever, you also could save Absolutely, injury. you can save them because we look at so many hundred million vehicle miles travel, you're going to have X number of crashes and injuries and fatalities. That's the way nationally uh, they look at the accident rates. So uh, yes, by putting more passengers on the buses, you can reduce the number of vehicles on the road and save, save some lives. Yeah, that's just a no-brainer. That's just logical. Now you also sent me a note about something. I'm going to read it here because uh, my eyes aren't too good today. But I think you said Accident Safety Awareness Program and, and it's the acronym is ASAP, ASAP. Now, how is that different? What is that all about? That's we we wanted a logo or, or some uh, title for the program, so we call it uh, the ASAP, the Accident Safety Awareness Program, and that's what we're trying to just heighten awareness of the uh, crashes that happen in in our region. Basically, it's the equivalent of five regional jets crashing in our region each year. That's a lot of people, a lot of accidents. Now, how is your program? Has it accomplished anything, or has you just got a slogan, or do you have any way to know if, if you're making any difference? Or? Well, we hope we're making some difference because we, we have put out some brochures, and uh, we've designed a, an over, over brochure that sort of describes the program and the statistics that I just gave you. But we've also developed one for the uh, teen driver, uh, one for the parent of a teen driver, and then one for the more experienced driver because in going through our data, those age groups, the teen and the uh, uh, more experienced driver showed up as, as some of the areas that uh, had the highest accident rates. We want the parents to stay involved with those teens. Uh, that's one way of trying to keep a better handle on who they're riding with, who's riding with them, that sort of thing because in North Carolina, we're finding that one of every five passengers who dies in a crash is a teen. About half the teens that die are passengers. They're not all drivers. Uh, and two-thirds of those teen passengers are not wearing a seatbelt. Oh, my God! So we've got an educational well, problem. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad you're doing the education on this. Where are you headed next with this ASAP project? What's, what's coming up? What's in the future? Where are you going to take it? Uh, one thing that we're working on right now sort of as a pilot program is with some of the school resource officers in High Point trying to set up a student safety council, taking one student from each high school, trying to create a safety Council, let's let them talk about how we can address this with teens, right. and then hopefully take that back into the individual schools. I just think, Phil, what I mean, Phil and I kid around a lot. We have a good time on the show, but I think this this topic that he's talking about is just so important because now the folks at Part are going out of their way to do these studies and and education about things they don't even need to do. I mean, they want you to ride the bus, but if you're going to ride in your car, they want you to be safe. And I just commend Phil and, and Brent McKinney and their staff for doing that. Here's the Part logo and website up on screen in case you want more information about what we've been talking about with transportation safety initiatives as well as you can get schedules and routes and see where you can pick up right. the park buses and that's at www.partnc.org www.partnc.org and again I just commend the folks for what you're doing and uh, I know it makes you feel good to try to get this information out and maybe make a difference right? Sure does. Yeah. And we're working with a lot of law enforcement uh, agencies in all the regions so they're doing a fantastic job. Thanks for everything, Thanks. Phil. All right, buddy. We'll see you next time. All right, we'll be right back after this.